Thank you for coming back. Join us on PC After Dark. Uh, right now, before we bring out Wamey, yes, Wamey, uh, we'd just like to, you know, give a little segment here that we uh, hope to work into the uh, whole repertoire here at PC After Dark. It's called um, "So You Know You're a PC Student When." All right? Let's hear it for PC students. <laughs> PC. Okay, you know you're a PC student when you have never registered for classes in less than two hours. <laughs> Slow internet. I don't know. I don't write these jokes. That was good. That was good. So you know you're a PC student when you think rejects on the rise is the nickname for fennel residents. <laughs> Didn't write that one either, so I can't take credit. Poor fennel. Sad. Okay, you know, so you know you're a PC. Uh, so you know you're a PC student when you're too hungover on Saturday to realize we do not have a football team. Yes. Booze. Let's keep this going. Pfeiffer, best thing that ever happened to me. That's what I'm here for, you know? Yeah. Pfeiffer. So, okay, uh, two more, two more. So, you know you're a PC student when you only go to Brad's if you're a lacrosse player or you want to hook up with one. <laughs> I've been to Brad's and I'm not a lacrosse player. Ooh. Sad, sad, Tom. You live a sad life. And the number one reason, or well, I guess you can't really say the reason when you know you're a PC student. So, um,. So you know you're a PC student when 50% of your PC inbox is now occupied by crime and health alerts, and that is it. That is when you know you're... So now you guys all know when you're a PC student. Now we're done with me butchering jokes and all the lights, all right? Now we're going to bring on our first guest. You guys may know him from the basketball team. Sophomore, Wamey Epajuku. Wamey Efajuku, what a name. Is that Jewish? <laughs> Cancelled within a week. Done. So everybody, you can all tell your friends you saw the one airing of PC After Dark. Once. Sorry. Well, you're the, you'll be the one of the two best hosts of all... Uh, host. Two best guests, I guess I'm the host. You're the guest? Is that how it works here? All right, so um, let's talk about last year, your first year uh, you know, here at school, playing in the best conference in uh, college basketball, the Big East. So what was it like making the transition you know, from high school ball coming up to you know, Providence? It was a tough transition, but it's like after a while you get used to it. Like the speed is a lot faster, everybody's bigger, but... You're a quick little devil yourself. I'm not too fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw games, and you, you did very well. Thank you. you should be proud. But um, you guys, you know, it was a growing year last year. It was a lot of freshmen. This year, you guys are gonna tear it up. So making that speaking of that transition from high school, do, do we have to have that annoying? Mm. <laughs> mm. Right. That Don't blame this on him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not cutting this out. This is staying. <laughs> Pfeiffer, a little. Welcome back. 
I, I, I'm dying up here too, don't worry. I'm throwing it, whatever I have out here. I don't have anything. So, as we were saying, you went to, you know, making the transition from high school, you went to Rice, right? Rice High School. Rice High School, very good basketball. Um, I'm from New York also. Mm -hmm. And I remember one game I went to go see my high school team play, and um, you guys were the game after us. You guys may have recognized us. We were all the six foot white guys, and you were all the six five black guys. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, you guys, very good. Us, not good. <laughs> boo, boo. <laughs> so that was good. Um, yes, but like, I also want to know like, I mean, I was an okay basketball player back in the day, you know, decent. I can just only imagine how good were you when you were younger? Like, when could you first dunk? I could first dunk in eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. When could you first dunk? <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Your show now. No. Eighth, eighth grade. You unplug something? What? I think you unplug something. Like, I unplug something? I think, yeah, I think you did. Probably gonna blame someone who wanted me. Alright, thanks. It's a budget show. What do, what do you expect? Okay, so how, you, you could dunk in 8th grade. What's the most points you ever scored in a game? 68. 68 points. Awesome. 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 So, uh, how did the off-season go? You had groin surgery out here? Groin surgery. Was Sports that hernia. A, what? Sports hernia. Sports hernia. Yeah. So is that like a major surgery? Yeah, it's a major surgery. Because if I had it, it would definitely be a minor surgery. <laughs> <laughs> this has to stop. <laughs> it has to. So hopefully you'll bounce back well from that. Um, so what's the outlook on this year? We're looking good. Really? I think um, us playing last year, the freshman playing, it's going to help us a lot together. this year because we have experience now. Yeah. Uh, any new, new freshmen coming in? What's the, give us a... Four new freshmen, I think. Really? Yeah. I expect you to be leading score, I don't know. I'm going to try. Well, that's what I like to hear. You like to try. Um, so what was your favorite moment, your favorite basketball moment ever? At Providence? Yeah, we'll, we'll say Providence. We'll say at Providence. At Providence, beating St. John's. Beating St. John's. Yeah, yeah boo. St. John's. Yeah. Boo. St. John's. Why, why is that? Because I'm from New York, and they didn't recruit me like they should have. Ah. Oh. 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 Did they still have Jarvis then? That's probably, could be why. No, they didn't have Jarvis. They had Norm really? Roberts. And they, really? They didn't recruit me like they should have. I met Norm Roberts, actually. He came to and uh, golfed at the golf club I work at. And then I told a great story about it on Late Night. Uh, that's good. And finally, who is better dressed, Bob Driscoll or Tim Welsh? Um, this is on tape. <laughs> It's equal. I can't Equal. Say. Yeah, they're both great dressers. Great dressers. Oh, great dressers. as good as you. Everybody, Wamey Epijuku. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back from this, we're going to have another great guest with Amy Baker. Stick around. <laughs>